Question of the day, how do you know if you're overtraining? This is what I call in the trenches experience, something that John Meadows talks a lot about, and what we know from research. Both Canada and Germany are the two countries that I know of who's done the most research on overtraining. So they measured hematocrit, globin, CPK, all sorts of these things. Here's in a nutshell what you should know. There's two things you should know. One, there's a difference between overtraining by volume versus overtraining by intensity. There's a very good sports scientist from the UK called Frank Dick, and that's not a joke. He wrote a very good book on sports training years ago. And he was the first one, to my knowledge, who talked about that. So, for example, if we talk about sleep, when you overtrain by volume, meaning you do too many sets, too many reps, you will need more sleep. So you're the type of athlete that'll say, I can't sleep enough. So two years ago, I asked uh, John Meadows to write me a program, a great program. What I found when I was training under John's guidance is that unless I had naps every day, there's no way I could recover, which doesn't make a, a bad person. You just have to be aware of that. So I said, okay, I'm, I'm doing a lot of sets, a lot of reps. I need to sleep more. So when I was teaching in Spain, I arranged it with Carlos that I would, was able to suit in naps. I could, you know, I'm the type of guy that could fall asleep at a shooting range. So I could fall asleep outside on a terrace. People were doing power cleans, pushing sleds, prowlers. I could sleep. So that's the way I could deal with over, overtraining. When you overtrain by intensity, what happens to your sleep is that the quality goes down, the, the depth of your sleep worsens. One of my favorite stories, and I don't know if to tell a story, is that in 92, I wanted the guys on the luge team to get their strength on a pound for pound basis up, so relative strength. So what we did is we did cluster training. And after three weeks of cluster training, I came to the start house where the guys practiced their starts for luge. And at that time, we had about 20 athletes on the national team. And when I walked in, there was five athletes with drool coming out and having the shakes. So I told the German coach we had, I said, these athletes did the program, and these 13 fuckers over there were laughing and having a good time, didn't do the program. He goes, how do you know? I said, they should be drooling and looking like they've got a bad case of Parkinson's, like those five guys who are the five hardest workers on a team, Andre Benoit being one of them. I said, if you could laugh, and have a good time while you're in that phase, it's impossible that you did the phase. So I said, we need a budget cut anyway. You could send those 13 lazy buggers off the team. So the coach says, you guys are off the team. And one guy mouthed it off and I walked towards, I said, listen, you fucker. If you had done the program, you'd be looking like him and you're not. So fuck off. Moral of the story is, is that symptoms of overtraining are a function whether it's volume or intensity. So when you train overtrain for by volume, one of the things that happens is your appetite goes up. But when you overtrain by intensity, your appetite actually goes down. So what you have to keep in mind is that the symptoms are very different from one to another. But this is a simple way to remember. Changes occur when you overtrain by volume, mainly in muscles. So that's why you need more sleep, you need more calories. When you overtrain by intensity, changes occur in the diet, meaning it affects things like your sleep, it affects your mood. One of the things when you overtrain by intensity, you get very irritable. When you overtrain by volume, you're pathetic. Okay, so it's very different. So keep that in mind. Overtrain by volume, changes occur in the muscle, Changes, overtraining by intensity, changes occur in the brain. So if the symptoms are brain related, it's too much intensity. Thank you for listening.